Good morning from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets and uh, welcome to the new trading week and good luck to everyone. I am looking for the trader who still thinks that the monetary policy of central banks is still a good thing on the long run. Actually, I realize that I do not know anybody anymore who is no longer skeptical in this regard. Please post your comments below of this YouTube video. The reason I'm asking is that I realize that we have an equities rally that nobody really believes in. The latest Reuters survey shows equity holdings of global funds reached their lowest reading in the history of the survey, which dates back to before the year 2000. In addition to this, um, begin to, uh, or markets begin to do the opposite of what central banks are intending to achieve. This can clearly be seen in the Japanese yen strength after the Bank of Japan expanded its monetary policy measures once again. Now, rumors around a new QE program by the ECB are starting to circulate and if markets are being, beginning to pick this up, there might be a strong um, catch-up rally in European stocks which lagged behind their US counterparts in the past weeks on the heels of Brexit and banking stability fears. Watch also the S&P 500 index today, which has been consolidating uh, for the good part of the second half of July. It could break out of a bullish formation it formed, which could mean new record highs for US stocks. There will be non-farm payrolls numbers out this week alongside supply managers and services um, surveys. Uh, there was one survey out of China, the Kaixin uh, Purchasing Manager Index, which uh, managed to rise above 50 again, which means at least I not a contraction anymore, which is a good news. And uh, Asian stocks this morning are at a one-year high, so that might pose well for the trading day today in UK and US and European stocks. Yeah, and um, if you look at the uh, US stocks, they have been, as I said, consolidating. And if the economic data is right this week, there could be a breakout to the um, upside and there could be new record highs on Wall Street. So uh, keep that in mind and on your watch list. Other than stocks, watch WTI and Brent prices this week as they tested their 200 day move in averages on Friday and bounced off this major support after dropping 20%. There could be uh, 20% uh, in the past weeks, um, oil has been dropping 20% in the past weeks. After that, there could be some leeway for a recovery should inventory and economic numbers this week support such a move.